Harley, and I am going to review Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, so, this movie felt very familiar the entire time, and I think that was done purposefully um, to keep the known fan, like the fans that have known the series and have been uh, fans of the series for years and years, I think that was to keep them interested in what was happening, um, but give them that nostalgic feeling as well, and also to get people who are not so familiar with the series in and let them be a, a part of it and experience it. Um, but there are many, many places throughout the movie that um, there's repetitive patterns and, and things that we've seen in a way before. Um, there's even a character, Maz, who I like to think of as the new Yoda. Um, has a quote, through the ages, she has lived through the Sith, the Empire, now the First Order. And it's just a balancing game. There's always uh, the, the Force. It's all around us. And there's the people that use the Force for good and the people that use force for, the Force for evil. And um, there's always going to be that struggle and that, that fight between the good and bad. Um, there's also uh, places where I found myself uh, playing the who's your daddy game in my head. Uh, especially once we find out that uh, Kylo Ren is the son of Han and um, Leia. You, of course everyone wants to know well, who's Ray's dad and who's Finn's dad and then uh, why is the best pilot in the galaxy, um, why does he have no lineage and no mention of his parents? I mean, it's, it's very, um, not confusing is the word, it's, it's not, it's, uh, it's very much a part of the story because the original story, it was such a shock to find out who Luke's and Leia's father was, um, that I think while I was watching this, I just kept thinking, well, who's that person's parents and who's this person's parents? Um, just because I, it's just this, you know, it's just part of the, the history of the movies. Um... I made myself notes because it's such a big movie, uh, it's such a big franchise, I didn't want to miss anything, I didn't want to do a bad job, so here we are. So we open on Jakku, um, it's our first look at a planet um, in the new story, um, we're introduced to uh, the pilot, uh, Poe, um, while he's um, hiding a map, of, well we don't know it's a map, but he's hiding a uh, mystery piece of important material in his BB-8, uh, which is very familiar. Again, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those moments where I found myself playing Leia in my head. Obi-Wan, help me, you're my only hope. You know, it's, it's that. And it's over and over again through the movie um, where there, there's these similarities. So um, we're introduced to the First Order as they come and attack, and Poe very uh, daringly tries to escape, but doesn't. Uh, we get to meet Kylo Ren, our bad guy, <laughs> and uh, as it turns out, Darth Vader descendant. We get to meet Finn, who is one of our heroes in this movie, um, and then finally Rey, um, on down the line, as she struggles to survive on the Nima outpost in Jakku. Um, doing her best, and is very uh, much a desert planet like Tatooine, so there are more similarities here. Um, we get to see Finn struggle to survive and make uh, his way back to Jakku, unfortunately, the one place he did not want to go to. Um, and then we get to see Finn and Rey meet, and how they um, just kind of <laughs> fall into each other and uh, struggle <laughs> to to make it off of Jakku again, finally. Um, we get to go back on the Millennium Falcon and finally see Chewie and Han Solo again together. Um, and then Han get into some trouble and uh, worm his way out of trouble, as he's known to do. Um, the movie overall is very good. I don't want to give the whole thing away. I don't really want to give you a play-by-play -play of the whole movie. But there's so many good things about the movie that make it feel so um, familiar and comfortable and just exciting to watch because it's a story that I think 
people who watch the movie want to see again and again and again. And that's why we keep watching. Um, it's one of those things that we, or me as a fan, um, I don't want to give away the whole story. I don't want to um, spoil it for you, but I want you to know that a lot of your favorite characters are there, that I think it's worth the watch, and uh, that I don't think you'll be disappointed, and that there are surprises. It's not all a story that's already been told. There's a lot of good things in there that will leave you going, whoa, I can't believe that just happened. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And leave me some comments and give me your take on it. Leave me some questions and maybe I'll do a follow-up video to answer your questions and let you know what I think about it. Bye guys.